We are about to start on our road trip to Somerset this morning, hoping to visit some cheesy places and a cathedral I've been wanting to see for a long time. I'm ready. I'm wearing my cheese t-shirt and I am ready after driving past Cheddar Gorge and Wookie Hole a million times, I'm ready to finally get off the motorway and check them out. If you know me, you know that I love cheese and I love otters. This video is in a short series I'm doing of my trip through Southern England. And in it, I'm going to share with you the cheesiest places I went to Somerset. And next, the otteriest places I visited in Devon. Please be sure to subscribe and join me for these adventures. And then a random castle appears. We don't even know what castle this is. So we're hopeful that this route is going in the right direction at least, even though we've just gone through a whole bunch of tiny villages on this strange route. This way to the Gorge and the Cheddar Cheese Company. There's the Cheddar Cakery. I wonder what kind of cakes they have there. Cheddar gifts. Okay, here's where all the touristy vibes happening. Going into the gorge. Simply gorgeous cafe. That's what that cafe was called. You know you're in a touristy place when there are fudge signs everywhere. I'm so excited to finally be here in Cheddar Gorge. I was thinking this morning, how long have I been wanting to come to Cheddar Gorge? How many years have we been driving by Cheddar Gorge and me saying to Ian, Cheddar, we need to go to Cheddar. I think 30 years, because I think our first trip here when we were newlyweds, we went and visited his grandparents in Devon and drove through Somerset. And I remember begging back then. And it was always as, we'll go later. We'll go sometime, we'll go next time. <laughs> so there are a number of cave entrances here around Cheddar. And of course we do not have time to go into any of the caves because we are headed to Wells Cathedral today, which is the main event today. Interesting side note is that Goff, I think is how you pronounce that. That is uh, one of Ian's ancestral names in his family line. Here's the guide to all the different types of cheddar. Cheddar made in cheddar. Yeah, there's all kinds of touristy places here full of cheese, ice cream, and <laughs> sweets. And of course, gifts. In case you fancy buying a dragon. And here's the museum, which of course I don't have time to visit, but sounds fascinating. Welcome to Cheddar, birthplace of farmhouse cheddar cheese and home to real scrumpy cider. Look at all these wonderful cheddar flavors. They sound delicious. But Somerset is not just famous for delicious cheese and scrumpy. Another thing the county is known for is phenomenal strawberries. So check out this amazing self-serve roadside berry vending shop. These are supposed to be the absolute best strawberries that are, or should I say strawberries, that our cousins have ever had. So we've come to buy some. Raspberries, wonky. <laughs> <laughs> strawberries, the best strawberries, yep. best raspberries, 
and best strawberries and then please pay by putting cash down the money catcher. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> We ate the berries for breakfast the next morning and they were incredible. World class, juicy and delicious. So, forgive me for disappointing you by neither having cider nor cheddar cheese while I'm here, but as most of you know, I don't drink cider and we are in the middle of a blistering heat wave right now. I think yesterday was allegedly the hottest day on record in Britain. And today's going to be a scorcher as well, like high 90s Fahrenheit somewhere, I don't know, high maybe 30 degrees Celsius. I don't know what, but just really stinking hot. And we're driving. We're not going to be to our destination till late today. So there's no way the cheese would survive in the car. Lots of tea rooms in town. I wonder if they serve Devon or Cornish clotted cream. And if people are putting their jam or their cream on the scones first. If I had a day to explore cheddar, I would definitely want to go on this Jacob's Ladder hike up to a lookout, but not today. Not only because we don't have time, but also because it's too stinking hot for hiking. A couple days ago, I watched the video of my friends Rachel and Wills from the fabulous channel Postcard and a Pint and they went strawberry picking and Rachel was saying that she had been asking to go strawberry picking for like 25 years and they finally got to go. So I'm kind of feeling the same way. I think it's taken me 30 years to get here to Cheddar Gorge and it's a cool place. The, the um, village of Cheddar is relatively small and touristy. I'm walking into it now to check it out. Uh, but the gorge is gorgeous. Of course, you knew that was gonna happen. Um, and we'll see if we can get a little drone photography. Speaking of Rachel and Wills, I have found the place that y'all need to go if you come to Cheddar. I think Wills would really like this place. Look, they even have Santa. Next, we set off to find a place to launch the drone to get some lovely aerial photography of the gorge, being sure to avoid falling rocks or falling sheep. But then we encountered some drone drama. First, Ian did the usual drone calibration. Then he launched the little bug and we saw it soaring into the sky and we thought it was working until it did this crash and bounce and crash again, as shown in this drone footage. Uh-oh, bad news, there's something wrong with the drone. So maybe we won't have drone photography of Cheddar Gorge. But thankfully, we eventually got the drone up in the air and Ian filmed some lovely views of the gorge and the area. Cheddar Gorge is one of Britain's areas of outstanding natural beauty, a gorge which showcases some massive cliffs, subterranean caves, and of course, cheese. Whether you are a spelunker, a rock climber, or simply a cheese lover like me, Cheddar Gorge should be on your list of places to visit. is a pretty church. We need to come back to Cheddar and spend more time. It's been really fun visiting Cheddar and now we're gonna try and head down to Wookie Hole. Longtime viewers may recall when I first discovered Wookie Hole cheese during my vlog of Somerset Villages. I'll link to that video in the description. I became a big fan of this tasty cheese and its funny Star Wars sounding name back in 2020. 
but this summer was my chance to finally see Wookie Hole itself. Too bad we were in a mad rush to get to Wells and had very little time. So here is a brief recap of my Wookie stop. Wookie Hole is really a beautiful little village with that characteristic Somerset architectural vernacular we love. It's a pretty small place, so here I am approaching the entrance to the cave. This is obviously a popular visiting place for children, for family visits or school groups. But it was a quiet time while we stopped to visit, so I was able to get my cheesy photo taken by the Wookie Hole sign with me wearing my goofy t-shirt that says, Melted cheese is my love language. I hope you enjoyed my cheesy and delicious and really fun visit to Somerset. And if you're interested in Somerset, check out this playlist for lots more information about some other amazing places we visited here. Thanks so much for watching and do something good in the world today.